we're going to start with the Regulation E opt-in. So with that opt-in, as it relates to disclosures and agreements, okay, letter C1, small letter A says, make certain that if you're offering a, an opt-in under Reg E for one-time debit and ATM transactions, that the consumer gets a benefit for opting in. Remember, they're opting in so that you can charge them an overdraft fee that you can't charge them if they don't opt in. So what's their benefit? Well, remember, these are ATM transactions, which are, uh, you're not going to reverse them for the most part. And then we've got uh, one-time debit transactions. If it's authorized at the point of sale, there's no reverse in that. And so what you have to be able to tell the customer is, all right, when they say, why would, why would I opt in? Well, here's the deal. If you opt in, you're going to get a cushion funds that's behind your account so that when you're at Walmart and you got $200 in your account and you want to buy a $300 item, it goes through. If you don't opt in and you're at Walmart and you want to buy a $300 item and there's only $200 in your account, it's going to get declined. And that's the way it's got to be explained. But if I have $300 in my account and I want to buy a $300 item, it goes through. Yeah, it goes through whether, I mean, whether you opt in or not. So you have to be able to clearly articulate what the opt-in is and how it works. So make certain there's a benefit that they get something over and above you just being able to charge them. Letter B is a reminder you cannot tie the decision to opt in or not opt into one-time debit and ATM transactions to your overdraft services for checks and ACHs. In other words, if I don't opt in so that you can charge me for one-time debit and ATM transactions, then you can't say, well, we won't offer you any overdraft services for checks and ACHs. They have to be talked about separately. We talked about that earlier today. I need to be able to say I want in or out on one-time debit and ATM transactions independently from whether I want in or out on checks or ACHs because you can't have the checks and ACHs be dependent on whether or not I've opted in under your one-time debit and ATM transactions. Letter C, delayed benefit. So one of the things we've seen, and we don't see it as much anymore, is the bank provides me an opt-in, and I opt in, so you can charge me. And you start charging me immediately, okay, like the first time I you know, become overdrawn. But with the benefit that I get from you, that cushion of funds, a lot of times the bank will delay it for 30 days. They say that I have to meet certain criteria and been a customer for 30 days before you'll give me that cushion of funds. Well, that's not fair. We'll talk about unfair, deceptive, or abusive acts or practices. I opt in. You benefit immediately by being able to charge me if I have one of those types of transactions that overdraws my account. But I don't get the benefit, the cushion of funds, until 30 days later. That's not fair that you benefit today and I benefit 30 days later.